It's got a lot of black crud around the top here. I don't know what that is. And the fluid is dark. as much as I can fluid and also this chamber I used vacuum bleeder vacuum bleeder stick the pipe down there it can actually fit and get most of the fluid out of here still a lot of crud in there which I'm gonna have to dab out with a paper towel this front section won't be able to get anything there long term I'll have to clean it out properly but for the moment I just want to well, I'll get what I can flush through Good fluid. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. What I might do is fill the fluid and then try and suck out some more from that side. Turns out I can't bleed the brake brakes because the bleed nipple has been clogged with mud. I've tried to get it out with a paper clip, but the fluid doesn't come out of the nipple, it comes out all around the threads. So it's just been leaking down the caliper. So not very effective. Same on the other rear caliper as well. So to bleed these, I'm gonna to have to do a full strip down at some point. That's not great. The front ones I could actually bleed, but they both they're all suffering from the same problem that it's fluids just leaking out of the threads before it starts coming out of the nipple. It may just be mud in the front as well. To solve the number plate light not working, I've stolen it off this, my 2003 Defender. This one's just been MOT'd and it's passed, albeit one of these bulbs was out, the other one did, so that's only a minor it's a pass with defects, as it's known. But I can take this off, this is plug and play. The one on my 97 Defender is a different um, setup. It's actually an LED one, but it's a different plug. So I can just swap this one off, and uh, just for the time being, to pass the MOT. You can see the difference between the two. This is, I've tried, you know, rubbing this down with emery cloth. So you can see that it's just not, uh, I need this bit of a longer term project, basically. So this one will fit on, it's not wobbling fairly uncorroded compared to this one. That's worked out well. It's good. Got some nice genuine bushes to go on. These have been replaced because they're definitely not genuine. No logo. It's a bit of a step worn out in this. Bit of a groove, so I'm hoping the new bushes will actually do their job. I mean, this one wasn't loose, the other side was fairly loose. And they went back in very well, there is no play now. It wasn't really on this side, but these holes you can tell the holes, the bushes, the genuine ones, a lot smaller than. The ones that came off, these are very much worn. And this one that was loose on the bar, split and everything. So don't think that's going to cause a problem at the MOT. I'm going to swap the seat basis for the MOT. You can see there how buggered these seats are and how low they are. Because of something's happened, it's collapsed or it's been bashed or whatever. Yeah, look at that. This is such a better driving position with these seats in. It's so much more comfortable. And I've got better visibility, I'm higher to the roof. Definitely want to deal with those seats in some respect. Get new covers and new foams, or maybe just even replace the bases because they're so knackered. Rear view mirror is something that's potentially a bit ambiguous. It is wobbly. 
that there is an MOT fail for it being insecure. It does fine actually when it's, you know, when you're driving it's quite stable, but it it's just really wobbly. So got another one. I'm gonna fit it. This original one's had some been ground off there and the and the um spring or the, the, the tang doesn't stick out as far as on the the other one, so I wonder whether that's part of the part of the problem. There's a new one in. Tiny bit wobbly, but pretty good. Taking my loom off my 2003 Defender as well, so that this one I made for the fog light. Fog light. Reverse. I've swapped the lenses over. I've just got to plug and play that. It's the last thing to do. MOT tomorrow. It's booked. It's the morning. MOTs are like revising for exams. They never get any easier. I'm just used to my 97 Defender failing the whole time. Anyway, this is the first time this one's going to go through an MOT. I've done as much as I can as much as I think it would actually be a problem. So now I'm just gonna have to wait and see and hopefully anything that is a problem isn't too much of a big deal. So it's Monday, MOT's on Tuesday. Hopefully I can get it done by Friday. Any problems sorted by Friday. My 2003 Defender passed last week, which was good. I thought about wanting to get that one in first. Now I can take the bits off that one that I need to put on. My 2006 Defender that I didn't want to have to buy those things for the time being, just as a quick way of getting it through an MOT. So those bits are now on. This vehicle has obviously been through a Armenian technical inspection, but it's just things you don't know. The, the, the one that I hear the most is headlight alignment. I always went out for a drive and did the headlights last night. You never really know what it's supposed to be. But there we go. Fingers crossed. It passed! Yes! Two advisories. What were the advisories? Driver's seat belt buckle slightly damaged, so the plastic casing around the seat belt buckles like cracked away. It was pushed down and yesterday I prepared it by trying try to bring it up and fix it and it, it just keeps coming off. I might need to glue it, but that's one. Second one is Front brake discs worn, but not excessively. There is quite a lip on there, on the front. I've not actually been able to measure the thickness because my calipers don't, well, any calipers don't, can't get around the lip and then measure. But uh, I says they'll need, they're probably the original ones. They're pretty well down. Yeah, two advisories, so that was good. So I've had two defenders pass first time in five days. That's ridiculous. Must, keep, must be because there's no corrosion. <laughs> Although it did take, it's taken a lot of work. It's taken two weeks to get that. Two weeks of solid work. Weekends and evenings. The steering box took six evenings between two and four hours each. You can't imagine where all the time's gone on that. It's like 16 to 20 hours just doing the steering box. It's crazy. Um, emissions, it's quite interesting. They applied a limit of 1.94. The average over three accelerations was 1.72. Um, which is fairly high actually. My 2003 Defender with a 2.8 HS passed with about 0.5 last week, and that's got 40,000 miles. This has got 112,000 miles, so about three times more. It's quite a bit higher. Um, it's still, uh, still within, the lim within the limit, but you're sat there in the MOT station, you can hear it revving, and you're like, oh God, they've done three. And uh, if they do more than three, then they're having a bit of trouble, and you don't definitely don't want it to hit six because then it's potentially failed but it, it did pass but it's a bit of a, a bit smoky actually um anyway next steps i can now apply to register it in the uk i think the mot was one of the big big milestones to get past basically got to fill out the form send it off to the dvla but i'll deal with that in another video this brings this uh video to a close so big relief thanks for watching Bye for now.